today. Our focus session is good news to the poor. Wow. Ang ating focus is not happy the good news to the poor. The Bible is about the law of God. Ang Biblia ay tungkol sa mga kautosan ng Diyos. The Bible is a collection of God idea. It is a library. Containing 66 books. Heaven is a country. Heaven is an invisible country. God is the king of heaven. I do not preach sermons. I teach about a country, an invisible country called heaven. Our session is preach good news to the poor, part one. Our acting session I Pina Magatang preach the good news to the poor, part one. The Bible is the constitution of the kingdom of heaven. Isaiah saw prophetically the kingdom of God. He prophesied about a government, a country. And the coming king of that country, the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us go back, rediscover what Isaiah prophesied of. In, in subsection 61 and 1 of Isaiah, so article Isaiah, so section 61, subsection 1, he said, The Spirit of the Servant Lord is on me. Because he has, because he has, the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news. The word proclaim is preach. He sent me to bind up the broken hearted. To proclaim freedom for the captive. 
Ang ng kalayaan sa mga bihag. And the release from darkness for the prisoners. At magbukas ng bilangguan sa mga nangabibilanggo. The servant Lord is the king. Ang kamalmahalang Panginoon ay ang hari. Every king is lord and every lord is king. Ang bawat hari ay Panginoon at sila ay mga hari. The word lord mean una. Ang ibig sabihin ng salita ng Panginoon ay may ari. The lord the word lord means sir. The word Lord mean master. He came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And usually he entered the synagogue on the Sabbath day. and stood up to read the scroll of the prophet Isaiah was given to him. And unfolding the scroll, he found the place where it was written it was written he was speaking about Isaiah 61 it was written in the Constitution he began to read. The Spirit of the Lord. Is on me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. He had sent me to proclaim freedom to the captain. And the recovery of sight to the blind. To set the process to proclaim the year of the Lord favor. The word favor means mercy, compassion, love. The favor is the king goodness, love, compassion toward mankind. Wow. wow. There are five principles. One, the Holy Spirit anointing. Two, preach to the poor good news. Three, send to heal the brokenhearted. Four, proclaim freedom to the captive. 
5, the release from darkness, the prisoners. I will address three of those principles. There are poor in spirit. They are poor in your city, your nation. Your community, your country. Preach good news to the poor. I want to clarify what is good news. Good news is not Calvary. Good news is not the resurrection. Good news is not the blood. Good news is not the crucifixion. Even born again. That is not good news. That is a redemption work of Christ that you obtain the kingdom back in your life. In other words, in other words, he has translated us from the kingdom of darkness. And transform us into the kingdom of his dear son. Every human was lost without God in the kingdom of darkness. Jesus transformed us from the kingdom of darkness in the kingdom of his son, whom we love. Am I making myself clear? I will define poor, what it is to be poor. Now, I had an experience there in every country there are rich, they are middle class, and they are the poor. I live a middle class life and I live a poor life. I live a middle class life, I live a poor life. I know what it is to be poor, I know what it is to have, and I will know what it is to do not have. Poor means lacking sufficient money to live a standard, comfortable, normal in society or community or country or the place where you're living right now, your city, your nation. Folks who are poor, who cannot afford a Android phone, a telephone, poor communication. 
mga dukha ay walang wala kahit mga cellphone o Android phone para sa kanilang pakikipagkomunikasyon. They cannot qualify for a phone plan to get the phone nor to maintain it. Hindi sila kwalipikado o uh, marong ma pwedeng mapagbigibigyan sila ng cellphone para mab mabayaran nila ito. Poor is lacking material possession. Ang dukha ay kulang sa material na pag-aari. Poor is poverty. Ang dukha ay kahirapan. Poverty is a state of not having enough material possession or income for a person's basic need. Ang kahirapan ay ang kasalatan o kakulangan ng mga pangailangan para sa pang-araw-araw na buhay. Social economy. O social na ekonomiya. Basic personal need. Such as food, clothing, shelter, transportation. Katulad ng pagkain, pananamit, at tirahan o maging ang transportasyon. Poverty is person or countries who lack financial resources or for a minimum of standard living Ang duha ay ang kulang sa mga pagkuha ng mga pangailangan o magkaroon ng pangailangan para sa kanilang buhay I'll repeat it again to you Poverty is person or country or community lack of financial resources for minimum standard living Ang dukha ay ang kulang sa pinansyal na mga pangailangan para sa pang-araw-araw na buhay. Poverty is, is from lack of employment or low income base. Not having enough income to meet your basic need. Kahirapan ay kakulangan sa paghahanap buhay o mababang sahod para matugunan ang mga apang araw-araw na pangailangan sa buhay. God never create human poor. Ang Diyos ay hindi nilika ang tao na mahirap. When God create man, He placed him in Eden. Eden is all the access of heaven resources. Everything you need went to one place. There were gold, there were water, there was silver, there was diamond, there were everything that you need one Eden. Eden is the expansion of God's kingdom on earth. I'm making myself clear. Proverbs nineteen seventeen, whosoever is kind to the poor, lend to the Lord. Ang sino man nagbubu nagbibigay sa duha ay may utang sa kanya ang panginoon. And he will, in the times of their trouble, and he will receive them for what. They have done. At ang 
kanyang mabubuting gawa ay babayaran sa kanyang muli. When you extend your hand to a poor family, to a family who are unemployed, to a family who don't have food or clothes, to a family who don't have shelter, when you extend your love, your compassion, and you help them, you are helping the Lord. Kung ikaw ay tumutulong sa mga may hirap na walang pagkain, walang damit, ma- walang matitiran, ay ikaw ay mayroong ang Diyos ang magbabayad para sa And the sa Lord will reward you for what you have done. At gagantim pala ang ka ng Diyos sa layong mabuting gawa. We got to rediscover that God has already blessed us before we were created. Ati muling tutuklasin na tayo ay pinagpala na ng Diyos nang tayo ay likhain ng Diyos. Blessed be the God of our Father, Abba, Papa, who would bless us. Uri ng Diyos na, na siyang nagpala sa atin. With all spiritual blessing in Christ Jesus in heavenly places. Nang lahat na spiritual na pagpapala sa Panginoong Jesus sa kalangitan. You were blessed before you were born. Ikaw ay pinagpala na bago ka palikain. God never created no poor man. Walang nilika ang Diyos na mahirap na tao. The world created poor folk. Am I making myself clear? What is the world? The world is order of authority, order system of government. Authority of influence, power of authority. Ito ang kapangyarihan ng impluensya at kapangyarihan ng otoridad. Because of the world system create poverty. Dahil sa sistema ng saldibutan ay ito ay naglikha ng kahirapan. Because of the religion create poverty. Dahil ang reliyon ay naglikha ng kahirapan. When you come to the kingdom of God, Pag ikaw ay napunta sa karihan ng Diyos, You own nothing. Wala kang pagmamayari. When you live in your country in the world, it is ownership. Pag ikaw ay nabubuhay sa iyong bansa, sa sandibutan, ikaw ang mayari. They are individualism. They are private property. What you have is yours and what she have is mine. You have ownership in democracy. But in the kingdom there is no ownership. Yes, what you call Commonwealth. Ang tawag dito ay Commonwealth. All things in common. Ang lahat ng bagay ay pare-pareho. Am I making myself clear? Maliwanag ba? Commonwealth, all things in common. Commonwealth, ang lahat ng bagay ay pare-pareho. The poor in spirit are blessed. For the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Wow. Wow. When you come to the kingdom to the kingdom, the, when you come to the kingdom of God, you own nothing. Pag ikaw ay mapupunta sa karihan ng langit, wala kang pagmamayari. When you accept the Lord in your heart, 
and accept the kingdom of God in your life. Everything the kingdom has is yours. At tinanggap mo ang Panginoon Jesus sa iyong puso, ang lahat ng bagay sa arian ay para sa iyo. You become the property of the king. Magiging pagmamayari ka ng Diyos. You are the property of the king. Ikaw ay pag-aari ng Diyos. Whatever the king own, you own. Kung anong pagmamayari ng Diyos ay pagmamayari mo din. So you are blessed. There is the kingdom of heaven. Kaya ikaw ay pinagpala sapagkat para sa iyo ang karian ng langit. The kingdom of heaven is yours. Ang karian ng langit ay sa iyo. You have the king's name. Meron kang pangalan ng hari. The king will bless you for his namesake. Pagpapalain ka ng Diyos dahil sa kanyang pangalan. There ain't no poor citizen in the kingdom. Walang mahirap na mamamayan sa kalian. You're a blessed citizen. The righteous are blessed. Ngunit ang mga mamamayan ay pinagpala. Mga matuwid ay pinagpala. They will say, I was young and I'm old. I never seen the righteous forsaken nor seed by bread. Sinabi ni David, ako ay lumaki at ako ay tumandala. Ngunit kahit kailan ay hindi ko nakita ang matuwid ay nagpapalibos. You gotta believe that you're blessed. Kailangan marang palataya ka na ikaw ay pinagpala. Then, the king will say to those on his right hand. At sasabihin ng hari sa kan- na nasa kanyang kanang kamay, Come here, you're blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom. Umarito kayo, kayo minang mga pinagpala ng aking ama. Prepare for you from the foundation of the world. Wow. Malayin niyo ang karian ng langit na inyanda sa inyo buwat para itatagan sa libutan. Wow. When you come to the kingdom of God, you become a citizen of heaven. Pag ikaw ay pumasok sa karian ng Diyos, ikaw ay magiging mamamaya ng karian ng langit. You are the kingdom community. Ikaw ang komunidad ng karian. You are the colony of heaven on earth. Ikaw ang kolonya ng langit sa lupa. God's original plan is to extend to establish His heavenly kingdom on earth in the hearts of His sons and daughters. Ang original na plano ng Diyos ay itatag at palawigin ang makalangit na kalian sa lupa sa kanyang mga anak na babae at lalaki. Apply the kingdom of God to your life. Ilapat ang kalian ng langit sa inyong mga buhay. In the kingdom, none of the citizens say The things that were owned were what they owned was their own. Sa karian, ang mga pag-aari ng mga mamamayan ay hindi nila sinasabing pag-aari nila. And they had all things in common. Kaya nga mayroon silang pare-parehong pag-aari. There were no needy person among them! Walang nangangailangan tao sa, sa kanilang... From time to time! Those who own land and houses sold them. At kan isa mga rag may may ari nga ng mga tahanan at mga lupain ay binebenta nila. If you have houses, are you willing to give them your house and give it to the kingdom? Kung meron ba kayong tahanan, ibebenta niyo ba to at ibibigay niyo sa kaharian? If you have land, are you willing to give your land and give it to the kingdom? ito ay hindi nyo o ito inyong iibigin at hindi nyo ibibigay sa karian. They have shared everything. Kanila nga binabahagi ang lahat ng bagay. The earth is the Lord. The fullness thereof and everything in it belongs to the Lord. Ang lupa ay sa Panginoon at ang lahat ng naririto ay sa Panginoon. The trees 
the nation, the animal, the human, everything in the world belongs to the Lord. God don't need nothing from you. Everything is His. So they sold their land, their house, and bring the money of the sale and laid it at the apostles' feet. What are you doing in the church? For 1800 years, the church were doing good things, but not the right thing. Pastor, are you willing to sell your church building and give it to the members if they need to pay the light bill or the rent or the mortgage or the house note or the car note? Are you willing to sacrifice? Pastor, are you willing to give up your lead check and give to the poor? Mga pastor, may bebet, bibili, pagbibigyan, pangyubahan yung mga iglesia o yung mga sasakyan para ibigay sa pangailangan ng mga mahihirap. They give the money to the apostles' feet. And distribution, they distribute to every person who had basic need. The gospel has been preached to the poor. And Jesus went about all cities, all villages, teaching in their synagogue and preaching the good news of the gospel of the kingdom and healing all of those who are sick, every kind of sickness among the people. What are you preaching, Pastor? Jesus Christ never ever preach healing. Jesus preached the kingdom and healed us. Jesus never preached born again. He just saved folk. Wow. Wow. I'm making myself clear to you. I'm making myself clear to you. I must. I must. I'm obligated to proclaim the good news about the kingdom of God. The good news is about the kingdom of God. Not about our religion, not about singing, not about church, not about pastoring, not about clapping your hand, not about not about giving up tracts, but the good news is about the kingdom of God. I must preach the good news of the kingdom of God to every town, every city, because I was sent for this purpose. God sent Jesus to earth to preach the good news. Preach about the country. Jesus never preached Jesus. 
Jesus preached the good news of the kingdom to the poor. Pinangaral ng Panginoong Yesus ang mabuting balita sa mga dukha. Preach the good news to the poor. Tayo ay manalangin. Ang maraming nasa langit, sambahin ang pangalan mo. Mapasa amin ang kaharian mo dito sa lupa gaya ng nasa langit. Bigyan mo kami ng aming kakanin sa araw-araw. Patawarin mo kami sa aming mga kasalanan. Gaya ng pagpapatawad namin sa nagkakasala sa amin. Huwag mo po kami dalhin sa masama. Iligtas mo po kami sapagat sa iyo ang kapangyarihan, ang kalwalatian at ang kaharian magpakailan kailanman. God bless America, God bless the Philippines, God bless all the nations of the world. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Global Diplomat College Center Kingdom Teaching. God bless you and your family.